Hi, this is Justin Taylor at BrainShare 2013. Uh, today we're taking a look at all the different identity technologies, and in particular right now we're going to take a look at identity tracking for Identity Manager, and to help us understand what it does and the value, we've got our friend Zach. Hello. Hi Zach, Hi, thanks for being here. So what is identity tracking for Identity Manager and why would a customer care? So identity tracking for Identity Manager is basically a user activity monitoring solution that allows you to monitor a user's activity across the enterprise and also automatically revoke access based on suspicious activity or uh, kick off some type of remediation process. Okay. You said user activity monitoring. Let's make sure we're clear on that. What are we talking about? So we're talking about being able to monitor what enterprise resources those users are actually taking advantage of, what activities they're doing across the enterprise, and that's everything from what they're doing in a directory, such as Active Directory or eDirectory, to what activity is across your network environment, network, network switches, routers, uh, to databases or other applications. Okay, so maybe to kind of make the point, could you show us how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So here in this demonstration we have uh, our identity tracking solution loaded up and you can see on the left hand panel we've actually pulled in uh, information from Identity Manager about specific users in our environment. So uh, here we have Michael Davis pulled up, he's a user uh, in our organization here in our demo. And what's going to happen is we can actually see uh, with a click of a button what activity he's been up to in our enterprise. So if I click uh, his profile. Then we can see, first of all, some identity manager information about this user that we've collected already. But this is Sentinel. This is, uh, this is Sentinel from um, a reporting standpoint, right? So with identity tracking, you actually get a limited use version of Sentinel. And so within Sentinel is where we're pulling all the reports for this user. So kind of a combination, really a synergy between the two. Right, exactly. So we're good, taking the best of both worlds of Identity Manager and Sentinel and bringing them together with one solution called Identity Tracking. Okay. And so what we can get is all the identity management information about this user. You can see what accounts he has. And then if we go to the Activity tab, I can load up all his recent activity, show it, and it loads up here on this uh, middle panel, and I can see all the events that are associated with Michael Davis, and notice it's got his name in there instead of just an IP address that you might normally look at. Yeah, I know that's a big deal, because obviously trying to figure out who's doing what, when I have an IP address, doesn't really tell me anything, does it? Yeah, exactly. So we're tying all that user information and injecting it into an event stream that makes a lot more sense for us. Well, you put some context around it. Yeah, it puts context around it and then allows us to actually execute on that. And if we do see suspicious activity, we can go the reverse direction back to Identity Manager to maybe lock an account or deprovision that user from some resource. Um, we also have very specific uh, reports that come with the identity tracking solution that are specific to uh, this type of information. So you can see some identity tracking account usage reports, and I have an example up here for us. So in this PDF report, it's pulled up the identity tracking account usage for a, a couple of users that we have in our environment, and it shows you at the top of it just some summary information that gives you some a uh, quick glance and a graph of who's active, who has inactive counts, who may have some warnings associated with them. And then it, you notice it actually pulls their picture into those reports as well so you know that we're dealing with real people and you can uh, put a face to a name as well. So we see like a warning. What kind of things would initiate a warning to us? It could be really anything that you define as important that you want to look at. Uh, so in this case it could be that he's logged into an account that he shouldn't be a part of or on a system that he might not uh, need to access at this particular time of day. You know, it could be PCI sensitive data, for example, that he's uh, accessing at a time that isn't according to your business policy. Okay. So basically, is this going to give me a view of what everyone's doing and be able to really give me a more holistic idea about what's happening within my system? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That's exactly right. Well, it sounds great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us today. You're welcome. Yeah. Thanks. This has been Justin Taylor for BrainShare 2013.